To begin setting up an NVR to record our cameras, we'll want to open up Internet Explorer and type in the IP address of the NVR into the Explorer bar. Once we've typed that in and hit enter, we'll be hit with an authentication page where we enter the username and the password to log into the NVR. Once logged in, we can begin configuring our cameras to record on our NVR by clicking on the Camera tab over to the left-hand side of the interface. Once the Camera tab is loaded, go ahead and click on WS Discovery over to the right-hand side of the page. This will scan the network for all of the cameras available for the NVR to use. Clicking the Snap button will cause the NVR to retrieve a snapshot from each one of the cameras. This can help us to identify which camera is which and help us to make a decision as to which channel to place each camera on. Notice that by default camera source is set to off and IP address is set to the default IP address. Clicking on a camera from the WS Discovery list and then clicking Select will cause camera source to turn to IP camera and the IP address to change to that of the camera that's been selected. Once we've gone through and we've selected each channel and assigned a camera to it, we can go ahead and click the Apply button to save all changes that we've made. We can then click back over to the Stream tab in order to view the live images from the cameras that are now recording in 24-hour mode on our NVR. Some users, in an effort to preserve hard drive space, prefer to record only when motion events have been detected by the cameras. To set this up, we begin by coming over to the left-hand side and clicking on the Record tab. The first setting to take a look at on each camera is the post alarm record value. This is the number of seconds that the camera will continue to record once an event has been captured. As a general best practice rule, I usually change this to 60 seconds on each camera. That way the camera will continue to record for 60 seconds after an event has been captured. When finished, we go ahead and we click the apply button at the bottom of the page to save the changes that we've made. And then we can go ahead and click over to the Schedule tab at the top. This is where we can tell the camera when to record in 24-hour mode versus when to record only when alarms have been detected. Simply check the Alarm box and then click the Apply All button in order for the entire schedule to be set to record only when motion events have been detected by the cameras. This schedule can be set up individually on each channel, so it's important to make sure that you've gone to each channel and set up each independent schedule. That way the NVR knows when to record in motion versus when to record in 24-hour mode. And then we're going to move into the Alarm tab over to the left-hand side of the interface. From the Alarm tab, we'll want to move through each channel and make sure that the Motion Enable option is set to On. This will push to the camera and tell the camera that it is now able to detect motion events. Click on Apply to save these changes. One additional setting to consider is that we're capable of controlling the motion sensitivity value for each camera. Moving to the Motion Area tab at the top of the screen, we're going to be able to control what portions of the camera image are included in the motion detection algorithm. Clicking on a square will turn it white, which means that that area is not included in the motion detection algorithm. A red tinted square means that that area is included in the algorithm. As always, click on Apply to save all changes. We have now successfully configured this NVR to only record when motion events are detected by the camera. And that's it. That's how easy it is to set up cameras to record on your Leland NVR. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Leland Technical Support using the information below.